Ugh, fucking worn out people. I had the roughest fucking weekend ever. Let me fucking tell you about it. So anyways, I met up with Dixie and Rip this weekend and we, we decided to go have an adventure down in a sleepy hovel named Wolf's Hollow. So on our way there, uh Rip saw a fucking spooky ass mist shrouded fucking graveyard and of course being fucking writ you know decided to go in you know and most people would be like hmm there's a graveyard that's that wasn't fucking there before but now it's there I should not go into it but not fucking writ no also writ decides to fucking grab you know two fucking rings that are on a skeletal hand, because, you know, skeletons always denote good things. There's, any time you see skeletons anywhere, <clears throat> like on a bottle of something, skeletons are good. You know, skeletons are like, that's, you have to be, you have to have a skeleton be healthy, therefore they're fucking good. Can't disprove that. So anyways, of course, Rith grabs the fucking rings without fucking, you know, like, in a pole or something like to poke him with, but no, he just fucking grabs him, and then he gets almost raped by a skeleton. So me and Dixie have to help him, and we get fucked up. You know, he he just he just gets fondled by fucking skeletons. We actually get fucking attacked. That's how fucking shit goes. Also, I saw a lizard orgy. Yes, there's some fucking things you can't fucking unsee, people. That is fucking wonderful. That really is. And that, that was the weirdest fucking thing that happened on this. I mean, that no, that's not even the weirdest fucking thing that happened on this adventure. I'm getting to that soon. So anyways, we get to the fucking shithole. And right off the bat, I don't fucking trust any of these fuckers in this town. They're all fucking shady ass motherfuckers. Especially the sheriff. He's that kind. He's one of those twits from like a horror movie. You know what I'm saying? One of those guys. Too good to be true. Something I don't like about his fucking jit. So he takes us to the jail because, you know, this town's being infested with witches. Ooh, witches. And they're making the milk go bad and they're fucking, you know, they're fucking around with children. Not like in a sexual way. They're just like giving them night terrors. Which, you know, that would be, that's, that's like fun almost. That's like a practical joke. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this kid have a dream that he's being eaten by a snake. Zap. That's the kid. That'd actually be pretty funny. That'd be a good joke. So anyways, we go to the fucking bitch who's a witch, and she is a bitch. She calls me a fucking goblin. I mean, come on, look at me. Do I look like a goblin? No. I mean, Wendigo, uh, Orc, uh, Shifter, um, Lycanthrope, Steyr, uh, Demon Thing. There's a lot of things I could possibly fucking look like. Goblin ain't fucking one of them. And also, that bitch is a fucking asshole, too, because I was the only one who had the fucking courtesy to turn around while she was taking her fucking top off to show us the witch mark. I'm glad she fucking died. By the way, she dies. Because magic. Magic kills her. And they arrest Rick for it because they think he did it. Oh, I'm, I'm forgetting about the fucking old lady in the cottage. Yeah, so we... We go up to investigate the, where the witches are supposedly fucking from, this tree, which I'll get into this fucking tree soon enough, but fuck this tree, I swear, I'm, I'm coming back for it, it's going down. So anyways, we meet this old fucking lady, granny goodness or whatever, right there, I'm like, red flag, that's the name of a Superman villain. From Apocalypse. You know, the horrible nightmare planet that Dark Side rules. Yeah, let's go follow her. But of course, Rith and Dixie are like, let's follow her. Let's, let's fucking go into her house and, you know, fucking be completely un, un fucking unguarded. It's, it was, it was dumb. So she makes us some porridge. And I flat out tell the bitch, I'm like, look, I'm not eating. Fuck it. No. No. 
you know, she starts giving me the fucking, you know, like, why aren't you gonna eat it? Why are you eat it? Like some fucking horrible crone monster. So I, so I finally just make up some bullshit, like, oh, I'm a Muslim, so I'm, I'm a Muslim now. So I didn't want to eat her fucking pig porridge. Fuck porridge! I'm saying that right fucking now. Fuck porridge. Porridge is oatmeal's retarded redheaded cousin. Nobody fucking likes porridge. Not one goddamn. Just see what time, how much time I'm doing. Okay. I got plenty of time to tell everything. So we leave the fucking house. We go back to town. The lady gets killed by magic. And we fucking. They arrest Red for it. Which is bad because we kind of need Red. Because. He's the only one who's good at ta talking. I mean, you know. So, me, me and Dixie, we start going around, looking around town to see if we can find some clues. And outside of the jail cell that the woman was in, which Riff is now in, there are feet prints. There are, like, human foots, and then they turn into hoof prints. And I'm like, holy shit, that's, that's I, you know, that's a clue. Right there, I mean, I'm no expert, but that's a clue, definitely. So we need Rith out of jail to follow whatever did these fucking feet prints, right? So that's what I sparked upon the greatest idea of all time. Let's burn down half the town. Create a huge diversion. Also, on the likely chance that there are witches in that town, witches' natural enemy is fire. It's, fire to a witch is like a mongoose to a cobra. They... You know, that's what fire does. It kills witches dead. So, I'm like, look, let's set fire, creates a diversion, so I can go in there, pick the lock, and two, kill some of the witches. So, it's it's all good, in my opinion. So, we set the fire, we get Riff out, and we, we book it. See, we forgot about following the tracks. We just fucking ran, because, you know, we set a fucking fire. Yeah, people tend not to like having their shit burn. It's, it's you know, it's co common human nature. So anyways, we we go back to that fucking hill or, or from before with the tree. The fucking evil fucking tree, which will die. So anyways, we get back to the stupid fucking tree. And fucking, and there's stuff up in it, up in the tree. You know, just gibbering and shit. And, and it's a pixie, a couple of pixies, some fairies, and a fawn. Which I don't know how the fawn got up in the tree because fawns have little goat boobs. But, eh. So they start saying something to us and we're trying to communicate with them. We're like doing this. We're like, hey, we're not, we're not, you know, we're showing you we're unarmed. We're, we mean peace. Which apparently in fairy means please shoot us in the chest with fucking um arrows so that's what they do to riff so we're like you know what fuck everything in that tree and we fucking slaughtered every fucking pixie sprite fairy fawn that was up in that motherfucker so except for one one got away it went you know it flew away like the fucking pussy that it fucking was so we butchered all of them but not I didn't feel satisfied with that. I'm do. I'm like the fucking humans from uh from Avatar. I want the tree too. So I go. I go to. We try to burn the tree, right? Which the fire goes out immediately. That was a red flag. I shouldn't have done what I did next. Which I was like, okay, if we can't burn it, I can at least trap it. I can at least you know throw some traps up so when they come back. They're going to get killed anyway, so fuck them. So I go to trap the tree. Noose comes down, grabs me like this, pulls me up. So the tree itself is attacking us. So luckily, luckily fucking um, Dixie was there and he cut me down. But man, you know, that was, that was some fucking scary shit. So fuck trees, people. I'm telling you that right now. They look innocent, but they're fucking not. They will noose you in a fucking second. So we get back to town. They're understandably pissed because by this time, a good third of the town's on fire. And we're carrying the bodies of the pixies and the sprites and the fawns. You know, the show is proof. Because when we got, before we left the tree, I was like, look. 
Let's pin this all on these fucking things. They, so we get back to town, and they're like, you set that fire. And we were like, no, we didn't. It was these pixies. We saw them. They came into town. They set the fire. They ran off. We saw this. We had to go into the jail to get Riff out because we knew we were going to fucking need him. So we fucking did you guys a favor. And, you know, the fucking reverend of the town, he's all, he, he's, I forgot about that fucking asshole. But he's in there, he's doing the grave digger thing, his eyes are all white, he's just like, you're fucking witches, you're all witches. And Riff's like, fuck this shit. And he stabs the motherfucker with a spear. Yeah, pretty hardcore shit. But you know what? Unlike most times when that would fucking probably have ended up getting us killed, it actually helped the situation and the people started to listen to us. Also, I think I might have inadvertently started this whole anti, you know, pixie fairy thing in that town because I'm pretty sure, you know, those people are going to be like... Because I told them about the last pixie that escaped. But you know what? Here's, here's something else that I forgot about earlier. Don't build shit where unicorns live, people. Please, don't. That leads to fucking trouble. Sorry, I'm looking at the time. That leads to fucking trouble all the time. Don't build shit where unicorns live. That graveyard was built where a unicorn lived. This town's built where unicorns live. Don't build where the motherfucking unicorns live. So anyways, the crowd calms down and they're like, okay, you know what, you guys are heroes. So... They, they, we get a wag, no, wait, I'm going to have to pick this up in a part two, I'm sorry. You know, he, he just, he just gets fondled by fucking skeletons. We actually get fucking attacked. That's how fucking shit goes. Also, I saw a lizard orgy. Yes. There's some fucking things you can't fucking unsee, people. That is fucking one of them. That really is. And that, that was the weirdest fucking thing that happened on... Decides to fucking grab, you know, two fucking rings that are on a skeletal hand. Because, you know, skeletons always denote good things. There's, anytime you see skeletons anywhere, <clears throat> like on a bottle of something, skeletons are good. You know, skeletons are like, that's, you have to be, you have to have a skeleton be healthy, therefore they're fucking good. Can't disprove that. So anyways, of course... Riff grabs the fucking rings without fucking, you know, like, getting a pole or something, like, to poke him with. But no, he just fucking grabs him, and then he gets almost raped by a skeleton. So me and Dixie have to help him, and we get fucked up. Our way there, uh, Riff saw a fucking spooky-ass, misshrouded fucking graveyard, and of course, being fucking Riff, you know, decided to go in, you know, and most people would be like, hmm, there's a graveyard that's, that wasn't fucking there before, but now it's there. I should not go into it, but not fucking Red, no. Also, Red, <sighs> fucking worn out people, I had the roughest fucking weekend ever, let me fucking tell you about it. So anyways, I met up with Dixie and Riff this weekend, and we, we decided to go have an adventure down in a sleepy hovel named Wolf's Hollow. So, on 